Okay, so you wanna learn how to make a custom thumbnail for your YouTube videos. You're in luck. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step, everything you need to know to learn how to create a YouTube thumbnail using Canva. Honestly, it's really easy to do. In a couple of minutes, you'll be able to create a great thumbnail that'll help you get more clicks, get more views, and grow your YouTube channel. All right, so today we're gonna learn how to make amazing thumbnails so people click on your videos and your channel takes off. YouTube thumbnails are the most important thing on your channel besides your actual video content. So if someone is searching for videos, they're on the YouTube homepage, they're watching a video and videos show up as suggested videos, there's a bunch of other options that someone could choose what video they wanna click on and watch. And the thumbnail is what gets people to stop scrolling, check out the thumbnail, read the title, and decide to click on your video. The click-through rate of your videos is one of the most important things for the YouTube algorithm. If people are clicking on your videos and watching your videos, YouTube will find more people to show your videos to. So I thought what we do is hop on the computer and I'll show you how to create a thumbnail in Canva. It's an easy to use free tool. And as we're going through it, I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to create great thumbnails. So why don't we get started? Okay, so here we are at canva.com. Two really quick things before we get started. Number one, if this is the first time you've ever used Canva, we have a Canva tutorial for beginners video. I'll link to that up above as well as down below in the description. Also, if you'd like to support our channel, I'll put a link down below with our affiliate link to Canva. If you decide to upgrade to Canva Pro, we may earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. With all that said, uh, let's start creating our thumbnail. So to show you what we're gonna design today, I'll go to our channel. And the video we just put up uh, yesterday, I believe it was, or two days ago, was how to get your first 100 subscribers. So I thought I'd show you how to recreate this thumbnail. So if we go back to Canva, what you can do is just type in whatever you're trying to design. So if you put in YouTube thumbnail, you can create your channel art, which we have a video on as well. And what you're gonna see here is a bunch of different templates. And one thing to have in mind here, so something like this text you're never gonna see on a cell phone or, or the small version of your thumbnail, but you can scroll through and see if one of these kind of fits the style that you're looking for. As a general rule of thumb, we try to have five words or less on any of our thumbnails. We want kind of the image and a really concise way of summing up what your video is about, not to have too much text because people don't wanna read that much. They wanna make a quick decision on what to watch on YouTube. So here, I thought what the easiest or the best thing to do to start out with is just to start from scratch so you can see you know, how to really create this from the ground up. So it's gonna give you a blank screen with the dimensions of a thumbnail. And so the very first thing we're gonna do here is change the color. So in the Canva tutorial for beginners videos, we show you how to get this set up, but we have our, our brand color saved right here. And so all of our thumbnails are with our blue. Another thing, some people will put an entire image on the thumbnail and put text maybe in a box or something over top of the image. What we always do is take a picture while we're recording the video and then remove the background and have a solid background for all of our thumbnails. And so I'm gonna show you a really easy way to do that for for all of your videos. While we're recording a video, basically what I do at the end of all the videos is just hit record and you'll see it looks kind of something like this where you know I'm making different faces, pointing, whatever it is, and then I can figure out you know which of these I wanna use, take a screenshot and use that for the thumbnail. And then the next step is if you have Canva Pro, you can do this within Canva. If you don't have Canva Pro, which I don't, I have the free version, you can re you can use remove.bg to remove the background. And it's really, really easy. All you do is drag and drop your image on the website and in a matter of seconds, it's gonna take the background off for you. And so here you go, here's the image without the background, here it is with. You can download it for free right here. Obviously, if you need it, if you need to use it for anything bigger than a thumbnail, you may want to actually pay to get the, the, the high definition version of this image. So the next step is to go back to Canva. And so if you go to uploads is where you'll add, you know, different things that you want to use. So for images, I already uploaded this image, but if you go to upload media, you can basically add things here. And then if I click on the picture that I want to use, it adds it to the design, and then I can just stretch out the corners to the size that I'm looking for. So probably something like this, it's to have me taking up the entire, the entire height of the, the thumbnail. 
and then to make room for the design off to the other side. One of the things is it's better to have text over on this side because there are a few things that end up coming up on the, the thumbnails along, along the right side. So we usually put text on the left-hand side. The other thing is I went and got the YouTube button from their brand guidelines from their website. And so I can just click on that and add that design as well. And again, just dragging the corners to get it to, you know, approximately the, the size that we were looking for. So there's that. And then the other thing for the thumbnail, we were looking at how do we describe something happening quickly? So getting to 100 subscribers quickly. And so uh, Diego, my colleague, came up with the idea of having the little lines along the side of the thumbnail here, of it like speeding in to get in your first 100 subs. And so how to design that is essentially if you go into elements is where all the other additional things that you could add to your design. So you have line, shapes, frame, stickers, there, there's a bunch of different things in here, but obviously we need just a simple line. And so you can see uh, Canva also saves the things that you've used recently. And so click on that. We don't want something in our green color. And so you can just go click on the color and then here's white. One quick thing with things like lines and, and other, other shapes is if you drag the corner of it, you'll see that you know the, the, the thickness of the line is getting thinner, but if you just drag it by one dimension, the thickness stays the same. And so what we we'll want to do here is we want, you know, want it to be a little bit thinner than what it originally was. Maybe move this a little bit to make room for the lines. Drag this over here. I think we need a little bit more space something like that. And then we had three of these lines, so I can just hit Command C and Command V to copy. And so now there's three of them. The other thing you can do is as you move shapes around, it'll, it'll help you align things as, you know, next to each other so that they're aligned left or aligned right or whatever it is. And so you can see here that these, they're all aligned on the right and the left because they're all the, the same width right now. And But I do want to change this up slightly. So maybe this is the shortest one. And then this one's a little bit shorter than the top. And it's something like that. And then what, to, what you want to do to align these a little bit better is if you highlight and select the three, then go to position, then you can go to space evenly vertically. So it'll space the three lines out equally. The other thing you can align things to the bottom. Uh, you can align, it's all, so you can see that it's aligned right. Right now, if you wanna say align left, it would do that, but we want them aligned along the right side for this example. So something like that, maybe move the button a touch closer. The other thing is you wanna make sure maybe this is aligned in the middle of these three lines. And so if you align the middle of the button with the middle of the line, then these are all aligned properly. So the next thing we wanna add now is the text. So with within Canva, if you just hit T, it will add a text box for you. And then you can kind of move this to where you want. One of the other really important things as you're building, as you're creating your thumbnail, is what I mentioned earlier, you don't wanna have too much text here. So I don't wanna have say, I don't wanna write something like how to get your first 100 sub subscribers on YouTube. So, you know, this is not what you want for your thumbnail. And so, yeah, I could make this bigger, but what I recommend doing here is you can see this is at 71% right now. If I go all the way down to 10%, you know, can you read this text? Because imagine this is kind of what it's gonna look like on someone's phone. This is always a good test to say, hey, does everything in my thumbnail stand out? Is it easy to read? Can someone glance at it and understand what's going on? So clearly something like that does not work. And so we always try to think of like, hey, how do we use the least amount of text possible? And so that's why you could see from the example that we had, we just said first 100 subs. Another thing too is I wouldn't use kind of cursive, hard to read fonts either. Uh, so the, the bigger, thicker the font is, the easier it is to read. And the other thing too, you can highlight stuff and change the, the font size here. You can change the actual font here. Uh, the one thing, so this is a light font. So even at a bigger size, if we go back to 10% again, you can kind of read this, but it's, it's a little bit difficult. I'll show you the difference if we make this font thicker. And so again, here it saves stuff that you've used recently. So we can go to the same Open Sans font, but 
use extra bold as opposed to thin. So this is maybe a little bit big. So I would either have to stretch out the text box a little bit, um, but you can see that that takes up slightly too much space. So obviously you kind of have to move stuff around. I could move myself over a touch, but I still think maybe that's not enough room here. And so maybe I want to go down to say 87, maybe a little smaller still. So say 85. Yeah, so I think that's about right. Maybe move this down a touch. And then if we look at it now and go down to 10%, like it's much, much easier to read this text. Another thing to think about is, you know, how, how much the, the image stands out. So one of the things that we end up doing with a lot of the images is if you go to adjust right here and you can see I have the image of me selected, go to adjust, and we, we generally add additional contrast and additional saturation. So you can, you can drag the bars like this, or you can just type in the number. So if you put in 30, it'll make it 30% more, add 30% contrast, and say add 30% more saturation. So you can see that the colors pop on this more. Maybe my skin tone is a little bit redder than what I would like, but you know, it's something that stands out and has more color. And so you can see if you're looking at it here that, you know, you can maybe see, maybe if we change this to 25%, you know, you can kind of see a little bit more of the detail and expression on my face at a smaller size. But really that that's all there was to it. And so you can see here we have the thumbnail, the really short text. You can tell, you know, very clearly what the video is about within, you know, a split second of seeing this thumbnail. Uh, one of the things you might want to do is then give it a name. So if you say YouTube thumbnail tutorial, give it a name so it'll save it and you can find it easier in the future and then go to download. PNG is what they suggest. Download the thumbnail, preparing your design. Give it a second. You can try Canva Pro for free for 30 days. We'll not do that right now. And then we can just open this up and here is the thumbnail. So you can see kind of at this size with using remove BG, it's a little bit pixelated here, but on a small thumbnail, no one's gonna notice that even. Then one of the other things that I wanted to show you is just how to, if you're not quite sure how to add the custom thumbnail to your YouTube videos. One of the things, if you want to know more about how to upload videos to your YouTube channel, um, you should check out this video up, that I'll link to up above as well on how to upload videos on YouTube. But if we just click on this video, we can, you know, then go to edit the video and the screen that'll take us to, um, you could get there from YouTube studio as well. And this is what it'll look like also when you're just uploading a new video, you have the title, the description, and then if you scroll down below that, that's where you can change the custom thumbnail. Um, one of the things, if you don't have this enabled, you basically have to verify your account with a phone number and then you'll have the, the custom thumbnails enabled. And so just by clicking on this and change, you're able to you know, select the image that you want for a thumbnail. And then open and there you go, new thumbnail. That's really all there is to it of you know, opening up Canva, choosing the YouTube thumbnail, creating the design, adding it to YouTube, and you're good to go. All right, you now have a thumbnail for your YouTube video. While you still have Canva open, why don't you check out this tutorial on how to create a banner for your YouTube channel. Also, if you wanna learn how to get more subscribers to your YouTube channel, check out this video below. Until next time, bye-bye.